Hello everyone. So in this episode of gameplay ability system based uh, action RPG project that we are working on, I'm gonna work on this feature. So if I go this way and attack the other character, that character rotates or turns towards me. So always when I do some attack, it turns towards me. So everything is here also implemented with gameplay ability system so hit dice if i do one more attack so the thing is we previously implemented this with the abilities but we used activate ability event but now today we are going to switch this to use activate ability from event so that i can use instigator then i can do some calculations to turn towards the attacker so that this is what we are going to work on today before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done in my channel for the membership of patreon page once you become a member you can download anything without a limit so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in description below and let's get back to today's video so here if i play the game let me equip a sword and attack now this guy do some reaction but if I attack from behind still the animation is same because the reacting enemy doesn't have any idea where the attack is coming from that's because let me open my ability G A light attack. So here I activate this react sword game playability. So here there is no way. Let me show you the react ability as well. It's like this. So there is no way that the enemy who activate this ability know which character is performing the attack so therefore we don't have a way to maybe turn to that attacker or something so to do that we can do something like this instead of using this uh, event activate ability there is another function that we can use activate ability from event wait no it shouldn't be a function Activate ability from event like this now here from this event data I can break and get instigator and some other data as well so using this method I should be able to access the attacker if I set the attacker as the instigator then we can do things like turn towards that attacker so when we do a hit reaction so yeah but when i want to use this i have to make sure that i have deleted this activate ability because that function get precedence if i have both in the code okay now this does not work right away because here what we do is activate ability by tag so this is not uh, if I want to use this event that's not the way I should activate the ability I should do this let me break this and move away there is a function called send gameplay event to actor now this is the function that I should use now here as the payload I can make the payload and as the instigator this is the only thing that matters for now we have other data such as magnitude and some more stuff as well so I like to use the event tag also as the react sword can I no so I'll just select it here and as the instigator get our actor from actor info and here also we need to 
use the same uh, use we need to use whatever the event tag that we use to activate uh, the ability that we trigger the ability but here we need to set up this now we are not activating by tag what we are doing is ability triggers so we need to give a trigger trigger source is gameplay event we are using a gameplay event we are planning to use a gameplay event so if you want you can maybe react dot sword so event gameplay event dot react dot something like that you can create a custom another custom tag but i'll just use this react dot sword because whatever you do make sure that you give the same event tag here as well otherwise it will not be activated now we don't need this okay now let's test the okay it works but still i didn't do anything to rotate towards the attacker now let's do that part for that here now i set the instigator here that means i can access it from here so i think we can get avatar actor and also from this we can get actor location and now from this we can find look at rotation from this location towards the instigator so get actor location location of the instigator that means the attack and then we can get root component of the actor and then to move component to uh, let's do something like this Uh, location I don't really want to change so I'll keep the same location but the rotation we do and here I'll split and use only the your component to be safe maybe this and should I do this while I do the animation let's see so that the rotation will be masked by the moment by the animation okay let's try yeah it did see let's try hitting from behind okay he died right that's nice so that's actually all i want to cover in this episode but one more thing now that i have switched to uh, gameplay events this does not replicate properly anymore i think to test that let me switch to multiplayer mode and play new editor window so this is the character that i manually placed in the level let me grab a sword like this and if i attack now it does i think i can attack the server but i can't attack this guy which is another client so also let's try playing as the server which is this big screen here now from server also i can't attack other characters uh so i think maybe let's just cover the replication part also here so for that uh no 
i'll leave it for the next episode because i think it would be better if i just take time and do some explanations on that before i just show you how to do it so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye